I think I'm gonna like your version of jailhouse liquor a little better, Richard. Tell ya, in jail, I didn't have a strainer and I couldn't cook at all. You didn't have a steel either, did you? No, didn't have a steel either. You didn't have a bucket either. You have to use a trash bag. That's your friend yeah. investment. Yeah, it'll blow that thing up when she starts deflating. Three minutes left, guys. Time to be putting everything together. Damn, it's hot. Mike? Yo. What you got going on here, boss? I'm gonna have some fried cabbage, sweet corn with a little country ham in it with a slice of country ham. Oh, yeah. And um, a few scrambled eggs for the side. Mother of pearl. Looks like you've made a damn potpourri of something good to eat. Yeah. I just hope you're just hungry. How do you feel about your liquor? Are you happy with it? Okay? I feel real good about my liquor. I sure do. Mr. Richard. How you doing, sir? Damn, that looks so good. Man, I have to lay down to eat it. Well, that's the objective right there. Well, you feel OK about your liquor, right? I'm loving that. You I loving? think y'all will, too. We're going to do just a little appetizer for y'all, because we can't fill you up. You ain't going to have no room for the liquor. Oh. Your steak in a nice date. Cherry reduction, kind of reminiscent of what's in here. Wow. All right, Richard, looking forward to the appetizer and the drink. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. My man, Josh. What, what you got dog? going on here, cousin? Well, I got country ham, steak, eggs, blueberries, a few cherries. Wow. Fresh peaches and canned peaches in there. This is insane looking good. How'd your liquor turn out? You happy with it? I reckon. You reckon? Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. One minute, folks. My nerves are getting to me now. Hell, I'm hungry. <laughs> I like mine well done, Josh. You do? That'll do it right there, won't it? Get a little carbon on it. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm done. Step away, guys. Y'all are done. Very interesting. Very interesting. All right, guys. We're going to sample your wires, both your culinary and your distillation. I got y'all plates of food ready and a jar of shine. It'll be what it'll be. Thank you, Vals. I went ahead and made a simple appetizer for you guys. You should enjoy it, especially with this. My jailhouse rendition of Sean. Jailhouse rendition. Looking forward to it, Richard. All right. I just went all out just a country style meal and a jar. Good liquor. Bring it in, buddy. Thank you, you Mike. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, man. <laughs> I don't know where do you want to where to start at here. Let's get started with Josh here. He's got some cherries in that filter just for a little accent on there. Got some proof there. Got a good bead on it. Yeah. Jump he in. had a lot of ingredients in his mash bill. Yeah. I'm calling my nine finger punch. It's got everything but that <laughs> finger in it. There you go, brother. <laughs> I, you put your all into it. There's a lot of fruit. Yeah, I smell it. it he's, is. Got, I he's got a good nose on yeah. it. Yeah. Damn sure it does. It just looks like a potpourri of fruit to me. He got it proofed down good, though. Just a tiny bit fiery to me, but not. Not overwhelming. I mean, you know you're having a drink. Well, I'll run over here and snatch us up something to eat. Ooh. There you go. Oh, thank you, Look sir. Look at him. All right, all right. I'm real impressed that Josh cooked. actually cut that ham. Yeah, and there's not a finger here. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Well, we got a fruit bowl. I got some pretty good scrambled eggs here. Look like a piece of steak and uh, some fried ham. He's done the best he can. That steak's tough as hard. Yeah. But tell you, that ham's primo. Mm hmm I got a piece right, Chris. Well, the steak and the, and the shine taste pretty good together. Mm hmm That's a real good breakfast. Let's move on. We got Richard. Richard of Landry. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, nice, pretty bead. Yes, it is. I approve. That was the all the pastry mash. I mean, who mashes in pies and pastries and stuff? You, Landry, I mean, I don't know what and all you put into your mash. That was a lot of ingredients. That was a complex drink. That liquor is very easy on the nose. That's Damn. really good. It's like donut. That's what I'm getting, a donut. Krispy Kreme there. Yeah, I am getting yeah. the sweetness of a pastry yeah. and almost the earthiness of the breading, the crust. Tickles the old factory as well as the palate. All right, well, look, I'm going to go grab what Richard made first. Turning that into a sauce to go over your steak. Hey, man, I think you knocked that out of the park. Mm. Yeah. That steak, it is very nice. And he flambéed it at the end. The fact that he put some of his liquor in this and then flambéed it off at the end and set her on fire, it couldn't go better on this steak. Yeah, I say it goes good together. Yeah, I think the fella knows what he's done. 
Richard, did you own a restaurant or do you work in a restaurant or? Never. I don't know, I just like to cook, man. And we got Mike's job. He's about to bring his A game to beat Richard. That is one clear job. Mm-hmm. And one high proof clear job. Okay. We 125. I'm getting a sweet nose. Well, it's watermelon. Cherry cheesecake on the nose. Well, I don't know how in the hell you can come up with cherry cheesecake. You're smelling tickles left pocket. <laughs> I was surprised that you put jalapenos in yours. That's a recipe that I've been doing for a long, long time. Damn, looking for that jalapeno. No, I'm tasting watermelon. No, it had two things in it that I love, watermelon and pepper. But I seen one jalapeno in that barrel of mash, so I can't taste the pepper in it. It, it has a sweetness to it. This is a really good jar. Get us some plates there. All right, all right. I fried some cabbage, some whole kernel corn, scrambled some eggs, bacon, sliced country ham on the table. I mean, that's a meal anybody would enjoy. So. Exactly. That's a country meal right there, boys. Mm. Well, that cabbage is pretty good. Mm. Mm. I tell you, that corn, that's sitting on it, too. Make your babies be born naked, it's so good. Yes, it will. Man, them judges probably sleeping back there, man. All that food y'all have. I'm sitting here wondering what the hell's on their mind. I don't know, but I hope I smoke y'all for <laughs> once. <laughs> I really want that mash stick. Tickle, go fetch him. All right. All right, I found it. Good. Yes, sir. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you for the excellent meal and delicious liquor. Not only did you have to pick from the oddest assortment of mash ingredients, but all of your food went right along with your liquors. Mikey, your liquor, my favorite thing is watermelon and pepper, but I couldn't find the pepper in it. You didn't put a whole lot in it because you worry about Tim. Right. But clear, perfect, clear jar, high proof, Food was off the chain. Country meal, cabbage still crunchy. The way I like it. Excellent job. Thank you. Richard, your liquor was like you walk into a bakery. Your flavor profile in that jar right there, if you could duplicate that taste profile, it would sell in any state in the United States. Wow, thank you. It's incredible. The appetizer that you made, Richard, had a little bit of your liquor on it that you flambéed off. Mm -hmm. It's great. Excellent job. So, it's my honor to present this, a handmade mash stick to Mike Cockrell. Congratulations. Good job, good job, Mikey. What you brought to the table was incredible. Good job, Mike. Good job, Mikey. I'm so proud of myself, and I'm very honored to take that stirring tool home with me. I'm going to get to use it, and I'm going to get to pass it down to my son one day. Thank you all so much. Hey, congratulations, congratulations bro. Yeah.